hello friends welcome to my youtube channel and i am amit kumar in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to create a mobile first responsive navigation design using css3 flexbox module the purpose of this video is to show you how to use flexbox to create responsive navigation bars okay simple navigation bars uh, the first thing that i am going to show you is this structure for our navigation bar it's very very simple and it's nothing unusual here it's like other navigation bar structures it has an, an order list contained inside a nav element and each uh, list item has an anchor tag containing the item name itself and we have for the css some basic resets for our elements for the elements that we are using in this example such as body nav ul li and a and also we have applied a font family for default font family which is helvetica so let's see how to style this structure for the mobile navigation so let's go ahead and target our nav ul element and set it a background color of something like 444 the second thing that we're gonna do here is remove the bullets from this another list you cannot see those bullets because i have applied this ul a padding and margin to zero let's remove this ul from here and now you can see that we have a bullet list here to remove those we just go ahead and target our ul and apply list style type none so now you can not see those bullets here and let's go ahead and again apply those ul so that we can remove margin and padding from those ul element okay now let's go ahead and target our nav ul li and anchor tag okay so we are targeting these anchor tags and first thing i am going to go ahead and do here is change the color so i am going to set its color to f9 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 and the second thing that i am going to go ahead and do here is display pro set its display property to block so that we can apply padding to each of the anchor tags so to apply padding i am going to apply padding of 0.8 ram from top and bottom and one ram from left and right like this now the last thing that i am going to do here is change the anchor uh, text decoration properties so that we cannot see these underlined so text decoration none so now we cannot see those uh, underlines now let's go ahead and target its hover property so nav ul li a hover and change its background color to something like rgba to 0 0 0 and 0.4 for the 40 percent of opacity for our black color so we can when we hover over these elements so this is basically the navigation that looks like it looks in uh, mobile devices or any uh, small de screen devices so to scale it for our larger devices like desktop tablets and we're gonna go ahead and write some media queries before that first thing that i'm going to target this nav ul element and set its display property to flex and i'm not going to use any uh, vendor prefixes so be sure to write vendor prefixes like uh, webkit moz for other browsers if you are using older browsers so you can see that i have this um, simple navigation bar but it looks like we are seeing it on desktop and it will still look like that in some old devices too so let's go ahead and change its flex direction property to column because the default value for the flex direction is row when you apply display flex for container element so each of these items are stacked vertically for each of the devices right now okay so flex direction is set to the column you can by using flex box you have the flexibility to change their um, visual order like this for example you you can change its column reverse to reverse their 
order visually so look at this you can see that we have home about services listed here but the visual order is contact blog means opposite so you can also write like this row reverse like this one okay so we just wanted to change it to the column neither reverse two so let's write column and we gonna see each elements are vertical stacked so this is the navigation bar for the mobile now how will you scale it up so that it will display as a row in larger devices so that is very simple to do so let's go ahead and see how you can do that we want to target right media queries at media only screen and min width to about 480 pixels which is 30 ms if we put root value of 1 ram equal to 16 pixels or m equal to 16 pixels okay so now thus this is very very simple to do let's go for the larger device and target our nav ul element and then set its flex direction property to row now you want to see that immediately all of the elements are displayed as a row so for the small devices we have uh, flex direction set to column and for the larger devices we set the flex direction to the row you can see this now what is the advantage of using flex box okay you ask me what is the advantage of using flex box inside menus are let's see its flexibility here and uses the power of flex box let's say i want to shift all the elements to the right hand side of my screen so that is very simple i can just go ahead and set it justify content property to flex and now all the elements are shifted to the right hand side of the screen and if i want to display to the start i can just write flex start and all are displayed to the start let's say i want to center all of the menu elements so i can write center only to center all of this let's say you want to distribute all of these menu items to take the full space uh, so i can just go ahead and write space around and when i apply space around property you can see that some issues and the hover is applied only to the area which is text has text and some padding applied to it we are not applied um, hover to the full width of so we can do that by using a very simple property called flags so let's do that first of all let's target nav element ul element and li target each of the individual list items and set their flex value to 1 for the grow flex grow 0 for the flex shrink and auto for the flex basis now you can see that we have hover applied to the full space right here okay now we want to center the text we have further some issues so we can just write text align center now each of the items are centered so this justify content has some other properties like flex uh, space around and space between but it will not work right now um, because we have applied flex grow to one shrink to zero and auto so let's remove this property for a while now you can see that we have uh, space between each of these element items but let's say what's the difference between and around and when you are apply around you can see that there is also space uh, to the left and right of the each of the elements but when you apply between you want to see space in between items not to their left and right so let's apply this flex grow to one shrink to zero and auto for the basis to take up the full empty space so friends now you have seen that how flexbox can help us to create 
responsive navigation bars by using very 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 few css properties so guys if you love this video please hit like to this video and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and in the next video i am going to talk about how to apply sub menus for each of these items so be sure to check out the, that video too thank you for watching this video bye bye take care